I can only imagine is blowing up the box office. And Paul, the Apostle of Christ, is coming this Friday. Plus new digital releases and of course that Christian Cinema Pick of the Week, all of that and more coming up right now, Christian Cinema Weekly. As I've mentioned before, there are three huge Christian films hitting theaters this month. One of them, I can only imagine, came out this past week with an unimaginable opening weekend. Pardon the pun, but really it is pretty incredible. This was predicted to have around a two to eight million opening week, but it ended up earning $17.1 million at the box office. Did you guys get to see it? I had a few friends who told me they couldn't even get into the theater because they were all sold out. The good news is, thanks to its overwhelming success, the film is expanding to over 2,000 theaters in its second week. So if you haven't seen it or you wanna see it a second time, then check your local listings. Well, if you have seen it, I'd love to hear what you think about the film. Let me know in the comments below. Well, this next week will give us our second big Christian release of the month, Paul, the Apostle of Christ. It'll be hitting theaters this Friday, March 23rd. It stars Jim Caviezel, who is known for many films and TV shows, but most notably, I would say he's known for playing Jesus Christ in The Passion of the Christ. I was really honored to be able to catch up with the Jim Caviezel this past week and ask him about the message of the film. Here's what he had to say. If we do the right film, it will be controversial, and this is con uh, forgiveness at all cost. And it doesn't mean weakness, it doesn't mean passivity, it means meeting evil face to face with love. Again, Paul, the Apostle of Christ, will be releasing in theaters this Friday, March 23rd. And I highly recommend you check it out. All right, well, with all of this buzz going around about these big theatrical releases, let us not forget that there are also some fantastic movies on digital that are perfect to watch with your family or your church in preparation for Easter. First up, we've got Grace of God. When a small church is robbed, they hire hardened private eye Bill to figure out who done it? Bill doesn't think much of religion or religious people. He's sure that everyone in the church is either a hypocrite or a charlatan, and he's positive that his investigation will only reinforce that view. This movie has intrigue, suspense, and a redemptive theme that makes it a fitting film for this Easter season. Next up is the Jesus Film Featurette, previously only available on the 35th Anniversary Edition DVD of the 1979 classic, The Jesus Film. Now, you can watch it for free at christiancinema.com. The Jesus Film has inspired millions around the world. Having been translated into over 1,600 different languages, this featurette explores that impact in such a meaningful way. You can check it out right now, plus you can rent or buy the 35th anniversary edition of the original Jesus Film right now at christiancinema.com. And finally, to continue with our Easter theme, let me tell you about Easter Mysteries. This is a musical retelling of the Easter story that particularly focuses on the story of Peter. It was filmed in front of a live audience at a theater in New York, and its cast is made up of Broadway veterans. This is not your average Easter movie. So if you're looking for something a little different, well, this is definitely one to check out. You know, I have really enjoyed getting to read what you guys have to say in the comments below. Last week, you gave some great thoughts about what you think the Kendrick Brothers are gonna do in the future and letting me know what your favorite Kendrick Brothers film was. This week, I was wondering, do you have a favorite Easter movie that you like to watch? Maybe something that's a tradition in your family? I'd love to hear about it. I would say for me, you can't beat the classic 1959 Ben-Hur. Let me know what yours is in the comments below. But before I leave, let me tell you about this week's Pick of the Week. As I mentioned earlier, Paul, the apostle of Christ will be hitting theaters this Friday. But if you're looking for something to scratch that Paul itch, you know, maybe, maybe got a little thorn in the flesh, then let me recommend this creative reimagining of the story called My Name is Paul. Set in present day, it depicts Paul slash Saul as a hitman for a mob-like organization who experiences a life-altering transformation. It's the same great story of redemption and rebirth, but set in a futuristic dystopian world. As always, you can find the pick of the week and all the other digital releases that I mentioned today at Christian Cinema. Com. Plus, you can always find the links to those in the description below. That's all I've got to say for this week. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up with the latest news surrounding Faith and Film. I'm Kevin. Have a great week.